The title of this video clip is Be an Influencer for the Faith. This begins our new series on living a full life. Number one, bold people have the heart and will to make a difference. The Christian journey requires us to step out of our comfort zones, face our fears, and pursue our dreams. It is a contest and sometimes a struggle against the world, our own fleshly desires and temptations. It is the good fight of faith. God gives you the heart and the will, courage and perseverance to make and to stay in the journey day by day. In the process, you will gain a deeper understanding of who we are in Christ and who we were born to become. Faith to trust our God and His promises. Faith to follow Jesus our Lord and our Savior. Faith to receive forgiveness. Courage to live by your godly convictions and boldness without being timid or ashamed of being a follower of Jesus Christ. Bold enough to spread the good news and abundant life Jesus came to give his followers. Your good actions, good words, can improve situations and cause a change for the better in your own life and in the lives of others. If you are not a subscriber to our channel, press the subscribe button at the bottom right of the screen. It's free. Thank you. You can do it now. Number two. Let us now look at another aspect of the Christian journey day by day. Christians do not live by wishful thinking. We live by confidence in God. In the harsh realities of life, the human tendency is to wish for something to happen. An optimistic state of mind based on an expectation of positive outcomes. That is wishful thinking. For Christians, our belief and confidence is in God and in His promises. Our belief and faith and trust are anchored in our great, faithful and loving God and in His word and promises. Yes, we try to carry out various plans in life, but God's plans for you are the best. It gives you a future and a hope. Let us now look at another aspect of the Christian journey day by day. Number three, be an influencer for the faith. The daily Christian journey is one of personal growth. Prayer, reading the scriptures, and hearing preached messages, they lead to new experiences, new perspectives, progress, and opportunities, engaged and relevant in a rapidly changing world. Christians must develop, enhance, and be creative. Yes, technology and the digital world are a reality, but in the real world, it takes more than digital savvy. It requires confidence and resilience and risk-taking, the wisdom to grasp opportunities, to try new things. These abilities come to us as we fight the good fight, as we remain strong and bold and courageous in our Lord, as we keep the faith and finish the race. The Church teaches us how to live lives that please our God. We must learn from personal prayer, Bible reading, and preached messages how to shape the views and lifestyles of Christians and people who can be Christians. Where does all this action take place? In your daily life. It happens daily. Be an influencer for the faith. Number four. Let us now look at another aspect of the Christian journey day by day. Know God and do mighty exploits and deeds. Do not conceal your talents or be extremely modest. Let your talents and good deeds shine and be seen by others. Live true to the life the Christian faith teaches followers of Christ. So those who do not believe in God or follow Jesus Christ, even if they accuse you of doing wrong, may see your good deeds and glorify God. Matthew 
5.16 says, Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Know God and do mighty exploits and deeds. Number 5. Let us now look at another aspect of the Christian journey. Live full Christian life. In the real world of the Christian journey, it is sometimes not easy to stay the course and to stay on course, to keep going even when you feel like giving up. Perseverance enables us to overcome obstacles and challenges along the way. In the real world, our daily faith, courage and perseverance make the difference between winning and not finishing the race. You have started the race. You must finish the race. Keep the faith. Trust our God to show and tell you where the hazards are, the issues at stake and the hidden traps. Do not fear. Do not be terrified. The Lord, your God, goes with you. He shall come to stand with you in all your struggles and trials. You will come through to see a new and better day of promotion and high esteem. Do not fear the rejection or ridicule of others who do not believe in the gospel of Christ. So by your words and actions, that you trust the power of God and rely on the grace of Jesus Christ, make your faith known to others. Live the full Christian life. Let us now look at another aspect of the Christian journey, the Christian life, day by day. Number six, God is with you. Yes, you will be hard-pressed on every side. Indeed, our enemy, the devil, will do his best to silence your voice and even get people to discourage you in many ways. Satan He can huff and he can puff, but he cannot blow your house down or undermine your foundations in your God. When you feel perplexed, persecuted or abandoned, our God, the promise keeper, works behind the scenes to work all things for your good. Let us now look at another aspect of the Christian journey, day by day. Number seven, what's in it for me? God will keep you from falling that no weapon formed against you shall prosper, that nothing shall by any means hurt you. He makes you the head and not the tail, the top and not the bottom. Deuteronomy 28 verse 13. What is so rewarding about the journey? Firstly, in the Christian journey, you will find your purpose in life and live it out to the fullest. Jesus Christ our Lord said in John chapter 10 verse 10, I have come that you might have life and that you might have it abundantly. That means fullness of joy and strength, strength for your spirit and joy for your soul and strength for your body. Secondly, the Christian journey is about leading people to Jesus Christ. You become wise in your words and your actions. The Bible says that he who wins souls is wise. You will be an influencer. You become an influencer. You show people how to love God and to love righteousness. You shine like a star. Whether you are shy or outgoing, when you think about it, we are all strangers to each other at first. Then somehow we became acquaintances with some of these former strangers. And some of these acquaintances turn into our neighbors, our friends, our colleagues, our mentors, our lovers, our partners, our family. You are not asleep, numb, or passive. You have power and potential. Go forward into the next minute, the day and phase of life with mindfulness and grace. God gives you the power to be you, the genuine, saved you. Stay focused with purpose, inspiration, tolerance for adversity and a heart for the believer and people who must become believers in God and followers of Jesus Christ. Our invitation to you, if you are not a believer in Jesus Christ, we invite you to receive him as your Lord and Savior. Just say the simple prayer to receive him and follow him. Heavenly Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Please forgive me for my sins and accept me into your kingdom. I want to follow Jesus Christ from this day. Give me faith to believe in him and courage to confess him as my Lord and Savior. I ask and I pray this in the name of Jesus Christ, and I say, Amen. We welcome you. We say welcome. Perhaps there was a time when you were a follower of Jesus Christ and you have grown cold and distant. 
and have separated yourself from the Christian faith and from Jesus, we invite you to come back to the Lord Jesus Christ. Just pray this simple prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for your forgiveness and love to reach out to me and restore me to the family of God in Christ Jesus. I rededicate my life to you in the name of your Son, Jesus, and I say, Amen. We say, Welcome back. Until we meet again at Joel's Place, the Spiritual Lodge, Oasis, Auckland, have a great life and a better day. Thank you.